Hi. Um, okay, so for today, I'm going to show you four ways to multiply. Okay? So we're going to um, learn how or see an example of the standard method, which we call the mommy-daddy method, because it's probably how your parents learn how to do it. Um, we're going to learn area model, partial product, and distributive property. So you'll be able to see all four ways to multiply, and we're going to use the same problem so you can really see the difference in them. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the standard mommy-daddy first, and the problem we're going to be using is 236 times 5. So I'm going to go ahead and write 236 times 5. Okay, so this is our standard. We always start in our ones and then move to the left. Okay, so we're going to start in our ones. 5 times 6 ones, we would have 30 ones. So um, we can't obviously put that there because it's larger than 9. So if I had 30 ones, I would, I would ch change that in for 3 tens. So I am going to have 0 ones, and I'm going to bring those 3 tens over here in the tens column. Now I'm going to multiply 5 times 3 tens. Okay, so 5 times 3 tens is going to give me 15 tens. And I have the other three that I need to add in there. So now I'm going to have 18 tens. So I'm going to have to regroup that. So I'm going to have now have eight tens and one hundred. Because I'm going to take those eight tens and put them here. And then I'm going to take those other ten tens and turn those into a one hundred. So now I'm going to multiply my one hundreds. And I am going to do five times two hundreds. That would give me 10 hundreds, plus I have this 100 here. Now I would have 11 hundreds. If I had to regroup, I would put 100 here, and I would have 1,000, because that's there. So my answer is 1,180. Okay, so I'm going to show you this using the area model. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create it. It's here. I have to do three numbers, so I'm going to have to make it kind of big. So I'm going to put my five here, and then remember, I'm going to break up that 236. Just like in here. All right. So that 236 is going to get broken up into 200. That's worth 30, and I have six ones. Now I'm going to multiply all of those. Five times 200 is. 1,000. 5 times 30 is 150. 5 times 6 is 30. And if I were to add all of those together, I would get 1,180. Okay? And I can do it right here. 1,000, 150, and 30, so you can see it. There you go. All right, now let's go ahead and do the partial product way. It's kind of like the area model, it's just written a little bit differently. So we're going to go ahead and do 236 times 5. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the 5 times 6 ones. I can do this over here to the side. 5 times 6 equals 30 ones. Okay, so I'm going to go put that here. Now I'm going to do 5 times 3 tens, or 5 times 30. 5 times 30 is 150, so I'm going to write 150 here. Then I'm going to do 5 times 2 one hundreds, which would be 5 times 200, and I'm going to get 1,000. Make sure you're always lining up your numbers in the proper place value, and then I would simply add those up. Like I did before. Same answer. Good. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the distributive. All right. So I'm going to have to break up. I'm going to write this here: 236 times 5. I'm going to break this number up. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do 5 times, that's worth 200. 5 times 200 plus 5 times, that's worth 30. Plus 5 times 6, 6 ones, so that's 5 times 6. I'm going to now solve those. I'm sure you already know the answers to these by now. That's 1,000 times 150 plus 30. I'm not going to re-add those up because I've already added them here. I've already added them here. And I am going to get 1,180. And that is all four ways to solve multiplication.